Ladies and gentlemen, Fury is live and join me while we watch Peckinwolf play her in the mid lane here in one of his viewer submitted games. Of course, this is going to be very difficult for me to kind of create that content. So here we have to just react to other players videos, but do check out Peckinwolf does absolute banger gameplay over on twitch.tv slash Peckinwolf and also on the YouTube's Peckin Woof. Welcome to the next commentary. Today we are trying out uh, the new champion Nefari, Nefiri. Oh crap, I should, probably should have looked up how to pronounce her name. I'll let him talk a little bit by the way, <clears throat> just... So we can get the point across here, and then we will start with the commentary, and uh, I'll give what I think about it. Uh, who is a new assassin mid laner on the PBE, so just released pretty recently. Um, she is an assassin. I went over her abilities real fast, and a lot of her things are all bonus AD, which means that... Uh, like So no base scaling, no HP. Difficult. If it's... There's two different ratios. There's either a bonus AD or flat amount of AD, where it's like based off of your total amount. But this means that you have to build a lot of AD on her, so it looks like it would be hard to build her bruiser if you wanted to. Um, also, from the number standpoint, it seems kind of low. What she does is her passive is creating these pack mates every 30 seconds. They attack whatever you attack. They deal a little bit of damage, and you can have a maximum of two of them. Your Q is a uh, thing that you throw out that causes them to bleed, and you can do it a second time, and if you hit it a second time, it deals bonus damage if they are bleeding. So the goal is hopefully land it on them, uh, which also causes your pack mates to go after them, and uh, that will deal bonus damage. So right here, like I'll attempt to hit it. As you can see, I did land it, and that actually did a pretty significant amount of damage. I didn't even think that I had the range there, so... Um, the damage is high if you land both parts. Landing both parts isn't easy, though. Okay, so I'm gonna let him jump on me here like that, and then we just... One more auto-attack might have killed. Maybe I could have just done a flash auto-attack. Ignite. I'm gonna go for my E. My E is a short-range dash. As you can see, because I hit him just, like, with the, uh, not the bleed part then it didn't really do that much, right? It did okay damage. Hopefully I don't run into Echo here. I just... Okay, so from what I have seen, I would say that this champion definitely, uh, definitely is also possible to be played in the jungle. So that is an important part, as um, generally assassins do pretty well in the jungle nowadays. Not so much in the mid lane because of, well, certain uh, changes. For example, Lost Chapter is a huge huge power shift in favor of a mage as uh, the recall for a assassin used to be very very strong they used to be able to by going hard just win the lane or put the lane into their favor by delaying the lost chapter right so basically what you make what what you uh, try to happen to, to make happen is that you force the lane to play out into a 1100 gold recall and then you can recall everything before that of course as an assassin you can do very well as well right but um you force the lane into a pretty quick recall and then here oh beautiful all in as he finds the kill onto silas barely oh the minions still kill the wave state is not good um as uh, yeah the problem the problem that arises is that for a for a assassin to really get a favorable recall now you need to get longsword recalls not serrated dirk anymore you basically need to go 900 gold ish and at that point for the mage of course there is the blasting wand available with a potion again for 900 and um no actually a thousand but yeah so um less less timings a little bit less of a situation because of tier for example as well for some control mages so that means that um the problem is that you as a assassin have less control over the wave less control over the lane and the mage gets to the point which lost chapter is that point 
um, that he wants to get in the lane very quickly at which he can start controlling the wave and it, just interacting with the wave instead of interacting with you a lot and then just kind of deny you your ability to roam influence the map or even take them down because what you're gonna walk behind the wave like try to get some kills there not necessarily the strategy right as it seems like silas definitely does pretty good against nefiri here we are going to yeah i mean we we definitely should have uh, taken anti-heal here first actually that i find a little bit interesting of a decision here yeah i think that um Pekin definitely definitely could have uh, taken some anti-heal here. This would have netted him already. You know, good good uh twenty percent less uh HP here on the Silas, minimum. Right. Uh, let's say ten percent, yeah. Seco's coming in for the flank here. Yeah, uh, he will just go down. And this is a double kill for the enemy team here. Very important. As, yeah, I would love to see some anti-heal here. But again, th the thing is, right, people say that anti-heal not very good. I'm not entirely sure about that. I personally think that whenever you are a melee, I think anti-heal is very important. I think if you are a ranged champion, anti-heal, definitely not as strong as you would think. Right? But other than that, yeah... So I kind of want to listen in to uh, him talking about the abilities, though. Heal is on this. My ultimate. I unfortunately got myself killed, but that's all right. Packmates are recalled and restore 100% health, so that doesn't heal me or anything. My only heal is on this. My ultimate could have been useful, but briefly slows them. She hits them, deals damage. Yeah, she doesn't have a lot of utility. She has dashes and damage. W possibly. I haven't really tested like if there's combos with you being able to use your spells. Did that just intentionally last it for me? If wow, are these coded to last it for me? Because that's pretty sick. I didn't do anything to that minion. My I'm like trying to let them last it if possible. I don't trust them. Oh, okay, I mean, sure. Thanks, guys. Nice, nice. So my ultimate makes it so I see around me, it, like, reveals everything, and I spawn more pack mates and get bonus movement speed, and I get bonus AD and stuff like that. So your Q is kind of slow, if I'm being honest. It takes a while for it to go off. This could be a good roaming champ, potentially. For sure, it seems, to be, it seems to be centered around that, huh? Like, thinking about using my E at certain timings, and I don't like that. I think Echo's just gonna base. I didn't even notice this is pink warded, whoops. I'm level 7 now. If Silas wants to fight me, I'm down. I'll just blow everything. Yeah, so now he Silas now he has ignite. Will also spawn pack meets, right? Yeah, I want to know how that looks. I, I think Silas is definitely uh, one of the most interesting picks here. I think Viego is kind of like basic. Whenever he uses his dash. But of course, Viego is going to benefit a lot from her. Wow, that dash is like so small. It doesn't really go far at all. Nah, it's like a Kiana, huh? Kiana dash. I guess I shouldn't be using it like that, huh? I should only be using it once I'm actually fighting somebody. Yeah, it's like it's like the uh, Silas W like there. Okay, we're going on him here. This I is good. This locks him out of the ability to get to his tower quickly. But, ah, we used the dash too, too fast there. Yeah, yeah so. if we hold the dash a little bit there, I think we get the kill. But, unfortunately not. Yeah. Now we just go down here, huh? We should be okay. Unless so this is good because like the aggressive dash has long range, but the dash that can be used to defensive and aggressive, that one has low range. Very good. Range. So in case you're wondering like why it's longer now, 
space off of your ult. So now I can use it from even further away. Our wave clear is crazy good. So yeah. this could be intended as not really like fighting because it does seem like the Q is not the easiest to land if people aren't really playing up. So it might be a really good... Uh... Nice, I kill him with my E there, or my Q there, and then just jumped away. Yeah, very good job. I think that these types of the games where you get behind early are really, really good to like showcase what the champion actually feels like rather than just dominating. So I'm actually happy that we were kind of far behind early. I'm just going to jump away with my ability. I might still be dead, though. Oh my god, I for some reason thought that Lily ability was my teammate. If I landed that Q, would he have died? Holy crap. He might have. I was worried they were going to turn on me, but they didn't, so that's nice. Bit of limit testing. I respect it. Just played. It, it increases my ability damage, so I guess we can go for it just to uh, try out. My ultimate cooldown is, what, 91 seconds? And it scales down to 76. It also gives you a shield. The first time I hit a champion, I get a shield. And on champion, the first champion takedown, you refresh the effect. Oh, this is big. That's very big. Okay. Yeah, I love this champion already. I did manage to hit him with the bleed there. The bleed lasts a while, so I guess you could be a, a little bit more patient with it than I'm being, huh? Oh, well, beautiful. I'm definitely landing it now, aren't I? I mean, she does have pretty nasty poke. Like, this is very, like, it's akin to Z poke, right? Spammable. Yeah. It's kind of spammable. I think we should attempt to dive just to... It's very spammable, it. and it's very non-committal, so that's, that's, a bit, uh, that's a bit scary, isn't it? Like, look at this. What, what is... What is... Yeah. And now we just... Oh, we go in? Okay. No anti-heal, but this is not a problem. Yeah, and the stuff's played out of there. Beautiful job. Use my E behind. Jump away. Okay. The boys don't tank tower. As it were. Well, actually, they the took tower aggro there, though. Minions pretty well, as you can see. They actually execute them. Oh, gotta be careful. A little bit of uh, bleed damage onto that guy. Yeah, Echo still has ultimate as well here. Yeah, this is going to be a hard win for Echo. I don't have my cooldown, so unfortunately I didn't have anything left. Really Very to big. Get him. I guess I could have tried stalling by flashing away, but he still does have his ultimate. I was hoping with Ignite I would scare him into using his ultimate, and then I have my cooldowns back up, but... That was not the case. Now, because these guys are so AP heavy... This is, like, a really ridiculously good mall game, so I'm just going to build that outright because, I mean, I'll build it eventually. There. I'll, I want CDR first. CDR is always fun because I like lower cooldowns, so. Five-second cooldown on my Q. Yeah, I think the five-second cooldown on your Q is kind of ridiculous, though. Once again. Does this reset? It doesn't, right? I don't think it does. I think, uh, I think the very important part here is that Nefiru doesn't have a lot of CC in her kit, which already means that she's uh, sure. she's gonna be she's gonna be turbo item dependent, right? This is like a Talon. Echo's bot. This is like not like a Kiana, back mid, right? So Kiana him. does have a good amount of flat. Does have a good amount of uh, CC. We'll just use our ultimate. Oh. Oh. Wow. Actually got movement speed, speed to yeah. dodge that second Q. Otherwise, I would have killed him. It's unlucky. I didn't think that he would get the movement speed, so I didn't think that I would need to flash. Bro, what? Dude, if I landed that other Q. So yeah. Close, though. I mean, I'm actually not sure that Silas dies there, though. So if you okay, can I play it? Okay. Flash away. Rather got outplayed. Nasty little bard. Okay. Not a lot of damage onto the bard, but that's of course bone plating speaking. Hmm. I'm dead though. There's no way out. I okay, at least Silas killed himself. <laughs> I probably should have never used my W. You get locked into it. If I spammed my In -game. QQ, I might have been able to uh do it fast enough to kill. That would have been like so ridiculous. 
I yeah, I think that's going to be the play. It, it will hit really hard because the bleed, it looks like, is the damage. The initial Q does nothing, and then they slowly bleed over time. It's four seconds. I thought it was like two seconds. I thought that you didn't have much time, but you actually have a lot. Never mind. You can't QQ. I just did that as fast as possible. You have like Q. Oh yeah, you have literally like one, one second, huh? Second, so I am completely wrong about that. Yeah, it's literally one second lockout. Okay, well that makes it that makes it much more balanced. Because remember, this is something that Kiana, for example, that makes Kiana so disgusting. The reason I talk about Kiana a lot here, by the way, is because I think she's one of the bigger failed assassins, in that she's very difficult to balance, right? She kind of isn't a strong Man, champion. This is probably one of the most disappointing things I've ever experienced. <laughs> like, I just could not get in range. Yeah, the minion block uh, got him out. Got him locked out I of re range there. Uh, I did that a bit later, but I should have done it a little bit earlier. That would have probably helped out quite a bit. <laughs> to like barely get into range by dashing forward, so. For sure. Jump over big walls, probably not, right? No. Yeah, so uh, I think I think the I think the thing that wh the reason why I talk about Kiana a lot is because I think Kiana is kind of a failed assassin in the in the thing that you know Kiana has this problem where uh, Kiana is very difficult to balance because her utility and what she can do varies so much by what the player can do and like the ping as well. Like this is also a thing, right? Like on a server where sixty is average ping. Kiana is never going to be the same. It's, it's never going to be the same, right? Because um, Kiana needs Kiana needs uh, very quick inputs, quick in succession inputs, in order to really get gain some of the uh, things that she can do, right? This is not this is not the case with you know other a lot of other assassins, right? Zed definitely one of them, but not to the extent. So yeah, I don't know. I I think that uh, I think that she's a pretty good part because like she needed to be nerfed, what permanently and still can like have ridiculously high win rates. So I think that Kiana, for, especially for Kiana one tricks, is just a way too wicked champion. But then for like most normal players, she's not that crazy anymore, right now. So yeah, the question, the question, like you know. Question would be. The question would be, what are you going to, what are you going to do? Um, as, f for example, as Nefiri, if you're behind, right? Ooh, echo, massive damage. Force to ult out. If we hit the second Q here, oh, first Q is enough. Untargetable from the Dusk Blade, and we're going to. Oh, unfortunately, not find the kill. Significant. I actually got CC'd pretty hard, which made it so I couldn't recast my uh, second Q onto Echo. So that's why I probably didn't win as hard as I could have. Um, but honestly, I'm pretty shocked at like how much damage I'm just doing with just auto attacks and having my little guys out. I felt like they were doing a lot. What's nice about your ultimate is that you get 20 bonus attack damage, and then you get a, a percent amount. Percentages are great. I love percentages. So percentages are not percentages are nasty as fuck. Down. So because Echo died, that's what made it so when Silas jumped in, I almost was able to like turn it around. Also, my ultimate cooldown. It looks like it starts when you first cast it potentially, which is insanely good, meaning that because it lasts fifteen seconds, I think it says. And it can be refreshed, which means that you don't get punished for it being refreshed as well. Then the cooldown is 15 seconds lower than what you'd consider. That would be crazy. Anyways, let me go top here. Let's let's fight. My maw is coming back up right now. I mean, yeah, Nefiri seems a little bit unbalanced right now. But, I mean, of course, you know, we're gonna see. If she actually is. It's kind of hard to tell with champions this early. Is he dead to the bleed? Oh, he's close though. But right now the numbers look pretty nasty. 
like just being able to just all in and like out damage a Silas without anti heal um is a bit scary, especially a Silas with a, with Everfrost like beats. You, you would be surprised how many champions so Silas bad. beats. Now, did Silas play that perfectly? I actually didn't really look at that. Oh, I killed Echo. Probably not, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think the Q... The Q... What? Okay, yeah. Um, that's a good amount of range, huh? Yeah, your Q is, like, turbo important. If you don't hit your Q... If you don't hit both parts of your Q... You're kind of... You're kind of not... Not worth it. Am I like not reading something correctly? It's only my one ability. You can't jump over walls, but wait, my ultimate's back up. Hi. <laughs> I feel like I just used it. Yeah. A woo. Did you just say uvu? He did. I mean, yeah, he has ultimate. Wait, uh -huh. he didn't ult though. Ouchie. Uh oh. Oh, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure about this situation. Because the pack's gone. Yeah, we're just dead. GG. I just hit so many people there and I'm going to jump over the Wait. Okay, maybe we're not dead. Okay. Jump Massive away, damage. Man. Please, guys. Please, just, like, turn around and get yourselves. If you guys die, it's actually so good for me. <laughs> <laughs> Every streamer ever. <laughs> In the first, like, game they, they play. Yeah, um... <laughs> oh, my God. What is this? Oh, my Lord. What is this fiesta, by the way? That's crazy. Wait. Oh, my God. You're playing with fire. Wait, the ultimate is up again. Okay, I, I don't. Okay, I don't know about this one, but the hyena pack. How is the ultimate back again? My E cooldown actually gives pretty good movement. It's not as good as it's basically like Kiana W, but it's on a longer cooldown, so that's what feels bad. What is the healing from? My healing is from my Q. Yeah, it feels pretty. Nah, we didn't hit the Q. Yeah, I think they said they wanted to make Nefiri like a easy champion. I'm not convinced that she's actually as easy as you would think she is. She's easy from the mechanics, like how, you know, complicated things are. Yeah. Yeah, it does hit so hard. And... I mean, I think this, I think this, the, uh, I don't, I don't know about this Q, dude. Significant. Like, you look at the Q, so this says 109 plus 345 bleeding, and then if you hit them again, it will proc all of the bleed immediately, and then hit them for, like, another 500 if they're low. That's crazy. I don't know how low they need to be. I think it's, like, probably below, like, 30% normally is what Riot does, 30%. And that doesn't even count when I use my ultimate, and that itself just gives me more damage and I, I don't even know how much damage it's going to be dealing during then my e damage is also significantly higher than i expected because we finally have bonus ad so okay let's just use my ultimate myself good luck chase wait what the pack mates blocked I was gonna say good luck running away, but it looked like that my Q like got blocked, but it didn't get blocked. It just wasn't in range because nothing blocks it. So, uh, okay, uh, we need to look at this. So E, ulting. Good luck chase. Yeah, it just wasn't in range. What? Then here the Q and the pack mates jump, so the Q is kind of like Talon daggers type thing as well, right? I have to say, I don't fully, like, I don't fully love... Yeah, you can see my ultimate's about to time out, but then it's only a 30 second cooldown. The base skin. I mean, I do have ultimate hunter, I guess, so... 
I guess that kind of makes sense. Oh, he has ultimate hunter. Yeah, that changes that changes a lot of things. But yeah, look at how low the cooldown is. Like he literally just used it, and it's up again. Yeah, really? I think that's a bit of an issue. I I think I think uh, my, my little guy. I think no, I I already feel like she needs to be adjusted here a little bit. Bleeds, we can we can change things out, uh, around a little bit here. I love how she works. I think she has good amount of outplay potential, even though she's simple. So I think that's important. I don't think she's going to have a lot of alternating builds and build options. I think uh, I don't think you can build her really as a brawler. But maybe there is some potential for this that we don't understand yet with the pack mates and the base damage that comes with the pack mates. Right, this is something that we're going to see. But her abilities themselves are not designed for, like, a, being a fighter. Let's put it that way. Okay. Hex Drinker, aka Maw. Coming out strong here. Yeah. Shield fully penned by the Ezreal ultimate. So that did absolutely nothing. Oh. Massive damage. The, you can see that his E is starting to deal damage here as well now. Yeah. You saw it there as his ultimate is back up again and this is what i'm talking about like my life i should have died there the only reason why i lived isn't because of my own healing which means when i mean soraka yeah ezreal is overstaying here oh wait Ow. wait was it is it is it like a oh oh my god dude that's gonna feel so good if you hit hit a q like that and you're just like oh my god yeah, um I finally landed a double hit on uh Ezreal, so he just got absolutely blasted. Hitting like a double hit Q onto multiple people is going to be nasty, isn't it? Goodness me. No, of course. Right. He's not playing versus uh versus players that play safe, that play play around this. Everyone kind of wants to see what you can do. Why do the dogs not have HP bars if they block my Qs? They taste similar to... I think they're like warts. Ward HP. Where you like have to hit them like two times or something. Yeah, it's a triangle above their head. Anyways, I'm level 16. I get so much AD now. Yeah, I wonder how she interacts actually with like, goodness me, dude, how she interact. But I mean, at this point, right, at, at his stat line, this needs to look like that, right? Otherwise, the gem is like perma useless. Wow, I actually got a pent on my first playthrough. <laughs> on my first playthrough? We're, we're, we're making playthroughs now? Welcome, guys, to my playthrough of League of Legends. Today we're uh, on chapter uh, 146. Nila. Nafiri. So how much AD oh my that? god, Nafiri got panther. Dudes are so broken, of course. Everyone's gonna say that. Okay, okay. The memesters. Yeah, the ultimate cooldown looks a little sussy, though. And and I also think that you can de definitely jungle her. That was mean. I'm sorry. I kind of want to limit test at this point, so I'll fight you guys. I mean, you just die here. Like what? Unless. I yeah. Be able to escape. That was it. I'm glad that echoed an ult. I mean, I got the kill, which gave me dust blade, but <laughs> you can see that there's not a lot of uh, you can see that there's not a lot of outplay potential, right? She's pretty uh, straightforward. Honestly, I think I should sell this serrated dirk and go for a ravenous hydra because that's gonna give us more healing. Oh wait, it gives life stone to the omni vamp. Wow, that sucks. Forgot about that change. Yeah. What is 
the only what, how can I get Omni Band? I actually can't. I mean, it still gets a pretty significant dude. What if I, I go Rift Maker? Yeah. What forehead? I have so much CDR now, probably. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go this mainly because this is just gonna give me extremely low cooldowns. So, like, now I can just run rampant. I mean, yes. I, I'm not sure how, like, worth it it is to decrease your W cooldown like that. Oh. Anyways, it's time. <laughs> Anyways, it's time. One is immune. Uh. Oh, my goodness. But again, right, she's very far ahead, so no one's surprised about this one. Echo. We can see you coming. Oh, the Q. I, I want... I I wish he had tested whether or not you could Q flash. Because I think if you can Q flash, it's nasty as... And that they probably need to remove that. Because imagine, like, you hit your Q1, and then at that point, Nefiru can, Nefiru can just ult and Q flash. You, you do not get away from that. There is no way to get away from it. That is so nasty. That, that I love, by the way, because that means that she, I think Nefiri is going to be insanely good versus like Ari and LeBlanc, which uh, most of the assassins struggle to kill. But I think Nefiri is not going to struggle with it too much, right? Because she has that long range target ability and then the Q works pretty well as well. Guys, I'm going to spam the hell out of Nefiri. I'm so looking forward to this one.